In this first video, we're just going to cover questions one to five of the 2019 physics HSC paper. So for question one, we've got to look at the velocity of the projectile at its maximum height. When its height's a maximum, we know its acceleration in the Y plane will equal negative 9.8 meters per second. However, it's neither going to be increasing nor decreasing. So its velocity, which is what we're looking at in this question, is going to be Vy will equal zero. And we know that velocity x is a constant for a projectile, leaving us with option D as our answer. Okay. Okay, so when we're looking at this, we got two spectra of two different stars. Okay, the degree of red shifting or blue shifting will tell us the relative motion of the star relative to Earth. So we can see that these have been red shifted or relative to one another. So we know the motion relative to Earth must be different. So that's meaning that the stars are either moving away or coming towards us. Okay, for the second component, where we're looking at the chemical composition, since all the bands have been shifted by the same amount, we can just compare the bands and see that they're actually the same. So they've got the same fingerprint region for the stars. Therefore, it's the same chemical composition, giving us answer 2B. Okay, so looking at the geiger martin experiment, the big thing here is that it's the initial, what they thought they'd see, not what they did see. So this was the plum pudding model of the atom, which we can see here and here. And we know that they fired alpha particles. So this is C, what was expected. What they did observe though was A, which is, the presence of the nucleus, disproving the plum pudding model of the atom. Okay, so for question four, let's have a look. It's a bit trickier. Okay, we know that's the other way around because we got the luminosity scale here. Okay, R isn't a blue star, it's a supergiant because it's up here. And then S is a red star. No, S is a white dwarf because it's down here. So we know that one's out. S has a higher surface temperature than R. Well, surface temperature increases this way. So we know that's out. Yeah, that's true. Because we got our evolution of a star. Thank you. Okay, cool. And final question. Okay, opening the switch for a DC current will initially result in a change in flux. This will mean we see our galvanometer moving from non-zero since it's DC current to zero. Therefore, we'd expect a deflection initially and back to zero since it's DC and not AC current. We'd see this case here if this was AC. So this is DC, that's AC, 